In this video, we will introduce about the basics concepts like sets, vectors, and matrices in mathematics. Math is used in every single aspect of our daily lives, especially in the information age. Our world is a mathematical world. Suppose we are balancing our checkbook or receiving change from the employee at a gas station, math is being used. We see some people understand math very easily, while some people feel it difficult to understand. It is because of lack of knowledge on the fundamentals. It is impossible to understand math without having strong knowledge on the fundamentals of mathematics. Having good math skills will ultimately save you time and reduce the need to need tutoring. Let us discuss the basic concepts like sets, vectors, scalars, and matrices that are helpful in this course. Set. A set is a well-defined collection of distinct objects. These objects can be anything such as numbers, people, letters of the alphabet, other sets, and so on. Sets are conventionally denoted with capital letters. A set can be specified by enclosing the members in curly brackets. A set can be denoted in raster notation, or it can be denoted in set builder notation. If a set has two identical members, it can be represented once. For example, A is a set of 10, 5, and 5, and B is a set of 10 and 5. Here, both A and B are identical. The order of members of a set can be neglected. For example, A is a set of 10, and 5, and B is a set of 5, and 10. Here, both A and B are identical. Let us assume, the marks list of a student, having name Varun, is placed in a table form. The list of marks, forms a set. In the same way, a table consisting of, marks list of 5 students, forms 5 sets. Vectors. If we consider, the marks list table. The order of subjects placed gives us a unique way to represent marks of individuals in an ordered array form. For example, marks of Varun and Mini can be represented as. Similarly, the roll number gives a unique order of students that are placed in the table. Hence, the set for English represents marks of all students in English subject in respective order of their roll numbers. The representation of a table can be converted into mathematical objects, called vectors and matrices. The rows and columns can be treated as vectors. The association of each student with marks in a particular subject gives us a matrix. In physics, vectors are useful to study the motion of an object. A vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction. On the other hand, a scalar is fully described by a magnitude only. For example, a football player running with a speed of 10 miles per hour towards the end zone. Here, 10 miles per hour is the magnitude and towards the end zone is the direction. If we say the football player was running 10 miles an hour, then it is a scalar. Since it has only magnitude. In the same way, the temperature of the room was 20 degrees Celsius. It is also a scalar. In this video, we have introduced about the basics concepts like sets, vectors, and matrices in mathematics.